Hi, today we're doing a video on the iPod Classic 5.5 Gen. Um, I got this iPod on eBay for like 55 bucks or something. I think it came with like headphones and a charger and stuff. And it already came with some music on it, which I like. I found a way to keep that music that was on there, even though I signed out of their um, Apple Music thing. It was like a very complicated process. It was. It, it wasn't even that good of music, but that's besides the point. Um, this iPod came out like this is the 5.5 gen, which if you don't know what that means, there was the fifth gen, which is. This is technically a 5th gen, but it's like the later version of the 5th gen, so people just call it a 5.5 gen, or like the upgraded 5th gen, because it had like a search feature, and that's like the only thing that was different about it, is it had a search feature. Um, just like most of the other iPod classics, it has like games, and you know, you listen to music, and other stuff on there but like the most special thing about this one was the search feature which I think I show right here um, but that was like the most special thing about this iPod um, I got this iPod because I just thought it would be fun to have just no, not for like any special reason or anything, just because I thought it'd be cool. I've only bought a couple songs on it, and then I downloaded a bunch of podcasts. And honestly, the, the audio quality on it isn't that bad either. And like, it wasn't that expensive, so it's not like it's a big investment. Um, but... I didn't know this when I bought it, but it has an engraving on it, on the back. I'm showing you right now. It's Weaving War and Wisdom, which is Athena. And I, I didn't even know that when I got it, but I just thought it was really funny. Yeah, I didn't start reading Percy Jackson until after I got this, so... You know, it's just Athena themed. This is, they must have listened to like Percy Jackson podcasts on it. That's my only theory of why like Athena stuff is engraved on the back. Um, but honestly, I just made this video to like show you guys what this iPod is and I don't know, just to, because sometimes, um, stuff like this is forgotten, like, just the everyday, I don't want to call it vintage, because it's not, like, old enough for that, but you know what I mean, like, you kind of forget about the, the slightly older technology that you don't really use anymore, and I'd say if you want to get this in 2023, It's not a bad decision, honestly. It's just, it's not a necessary thing, you know? You have Spotify and whatever. I just think it's fun. And if you really hate your music getting interrupted and you hate having to watch ads every five minutes to listen to music, then this is for you because you buy the music so you can have as many skips as you want and it's just kind of a fun thing. You can also mod um, iPods like this because sometimes they have like disk drives in them and you can like hear it if you listen close enough. Um, you can hear it like turning and, and different stuff. Um, but you can, you can like mod it to have more memory or a bunch of stuff other different stuff or replace it if it gets broken this is my um 
my little bit where I show you how to get the most out of your iPod. First, you need your Athena themed iPod Classic 5.5 Gen. Then you plug in your very overkill, very overkill long wired headphones. You plug those in and that's all the advice I have. Um, honestly, the iPod doesn't sound that bad and do your own research. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm figuring this out too. So see you next Thursday.